And we've seen in America people reacting really strongly to being locked down. And we Hi, my name's Linda Ray. I'm the CEO of Neuro Capability and I've got another brain bite for you. I want to talk about fairness and the perception of fairness. And we've seen in America people reacting really strongly to being locked down and we've seen people taking to the streets um, with machine guns, which I find absolutely terrifying. But we also know that we're seeing fairness play out in Australia in some other ways as well. We're seeing people being really concerned about, is it fair that, um, that I only work, you know, as a casual four hours a week, but I'm gonna be paid $1,500 a fortnight. And I think what we need to be really mindful of is that when we feel like there's a, um, that fairness has been threatened for us, it generates a really strong reaction in the, in the brain and the body. And just saying, you know, get over it. Oh, well, too bad. That's just the way the, you know, the, the cookies crumble. That's not gonna support people. We need to actually be acknowledging when people feel unfair and, and saying to people, I get how you're feeling. I can see and I can appreciate that this must feel unfair. So think about what you need to do as a leader to address this, because when people feel that sense of fairness, it, it generates as greater threat in the brain as you know, really strong levels of disgust, which is why sometimes you'll see it's disgusting that people get treated that way or people are getting that. They'll, they'll use those words because it actually generates such a strong threat. When we feel high levels of unfairness, then it actually means we can check out and disengage from our work. So talk to your people and explain to them what's going on, the why behind it, and acknowledge their feelings.